you know, one of my life messages is I'm always talking about go after your God-sized dream. You got a purpose. You got a destiny. Man, does God have a calling for you. And I will always preach on that, always speak on that. I will always talk about that. When people get around me, that is what is going to come out of my life. Because in my life, I've always been kind of like driven to whatever I put my hands to. I wanted to succeed in it. I wanted to be the best at it. I wanted to be an expert in my field. If you're going to do something, you might as well do it with everything that you have. You might as well throw your life into it. And you know, I've done a lot of different things and been successful or somewhat successful in them. And I've always asked God to come alongside and help me. Until a few years ago, I really found out who I was in God. I really found out what God wanted me to do. And I completely threw my life into what God had for me. Now, Proverbs 19.21, it says this right here. A person may have many ideas concerning God's plan for his life, but only the design of his purpose will succeed in the end. So what you have to understand is in your life, you may be doing a lot of good things. And in your prayer time, you may be a devoted person to prayer and say, God, come alongside this endeavor and this adventure and these different things. But there's going to come a time in your life when you're going to have to say, God, take everything that is not your 100% perfect will out of my life because I want to make sure that I hit the mark that you have for me. I remember a few years ago, I was in our prayer room and I was laying on this beautiful decorative chevron rug that my wife has. And it was late at night and I laid down and I said, God, for the rest of my life, I want to throw my life into everything that you have. I don't want to do a 99% life. I want to be 100% all in. And oh, God started speaking to me and I was getting excited. And I said, whatever you want me to do, God, tell me and I'll do it. And the Lord said, what's in your heart? And I said, God, I want to do what you want me to do. And he said, you don't understand. What's in your heart? I've already placed what I want you to do in your heart. Now go for it. Go after everything that is in your heart because I placed it there. See, a lot of you watching this video today, you already know what God wants you to do. You already know what's in your heart, but you're a little scared. You're a little nervous. One thing you're scared about is succeeding because truthfully, most people are more scared of success than they are failure. And so with the scripture that I just read, you can do a lot of good things and the world may think you're successful in life and business and ministry and whatever you're doing, but only you will know if you are truly doing the perfect thing that God has for you. Are you really walking into your destiny? Are you really walking into your dreams? Are you truly living your life to the fullest? You need to go after the things of God with reckless abandonment and become all that God has called you to do. So I encourage you today, just throw your life into what God is saying over you and you will find more reward for your life. You will love your life like never before. And as a husband, when I did this, I noticed that my wife responded better to me. Our marriage got stronger. My kids responded differently to me. Finances started coming in. I started receiving wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from God that I never could get. Why? Because I was fully into the things of the Lord. People started coming to me asking me for wisdom that I thought would never asked me for anything. I started preaching and speaking conferences with people that I never thought I would walk side by side with. And it was all because I completely went after the things of the Lord. I quit asking God to bless what I was doing. And I just said, God, if you will allow me to do it, I will do whatever you put in my heart to do. So everything that God puts in my heart, I go after it. I hope this encouraged you, stretched you, scared you a little bit and challenged you. Man, I hope you're having a great day. And get off the internet and go do what God has called you to do. Love y'all.